God's beauty is all around us and my goal as an artist is to capture and interpret that beauty on canvas and to take you, the viewer, along with me on this painting journey. Hello and welcome to Painting Journeys. My name is Kitty Lynn Klish and we are still journeying in Ireland. Um, our last episode, I was doing this painting of this gentleman, uh, gentleman farmer, uh, Mr. Conlon, and I, when I got the painting back to the studio, my home studio, I thought, oh gosh, this isn't right. I better add the other brother and the dog Laddie. And so it was, you know, anyway, this is going to be a continuation of the last episode. I'm going to complete it. As you can see, I have added the other brother. I've kind of like just mocked him in and the dog is Laddie is going to be down here. I'm going to be adding the flowers and everything over in the windowsill and I'm just doing some finish work on this for you so that you can see what it really looked like to me. But before we do that, I wanted to tell you about my very first encounter with the Conlon brothers. They were so cute, they were so shy. And so the very first time I went to their house, I was standing outside and I was taking a picture. I was taken with this window. And this window is the same one that's that I'm going to be painting today, putting the flowers in. Anyway, I was so taken with this window, and they wouldn't come outside. They were just so shy. <laughs> so anyway, I caught them peeking out the window to see what was going on. So this is the Conlon brother's garden window, and, um, and that was my first encounter with them, and they were very sweet. And then as I got to know them, as I told you in the last show, they uh, invited me to lunch and prepared a nice lunch for me, and um, we just had wonderful talks about Ireland and, and how they see, what they see in their future. You know, their future is, is uh, like so many things here, um, it's, it's becoming a bygone era and new things are happening there and changes are being made and, and what's gonna happen to gentlemen farmers that don't farm anymore? So anyway, I better start painting now. Thank you for joining me today. Okay, here we go. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and block Laddie in the dog, um, really sweet dog. And everywhere these gentlemen were, Laddie was right there with them. If we were in the house, you know, talking in front of the fire, Laddie was right there, laying there. I mean, any time they got up and moved, Laddie went with them. He was such a, a sweet, devoted dog. And the funny part of it is, is that Laddie is the, not the first Laddie. I think these gentlemen have had many, many dogs, and I think they were all named Laddie. So this is probably Laddie the 40th or something. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> but anyway, a nice, nice dog. Nice dog. And let's see, we got the leg coming over here. This is going to kind of help you to see a little bit more about what is actually going on here. Um, this is a little blacker up in here. And then Laddie's got a little uh, black right in here and a little bit black right here. After, after our last episode and I was working on this I just I, I just when I got it back to the studio I just my home studio I just thought this isn't right I need to have both of the brothers there and as you can see um, in this picture above 
they are very, very close. Um, Tommy seems to really like the dog a little better than his other brother, but they seem to, they're, they're very, they're very, very close, the brothers are, so. And I wanted to show that. I didn't want to leave one of them out. Um, let me see here. I think I'm making Laddie a little too heavy looking here. So I'll just come in. This is called coming in from the negative space to form your positive shape. I had a lovely email message from a gentleman in Maine a couple of weeks ago. And he saw my show and he emailed me and told me how much he enjoyed it. And he's a painter himself. Uh, he, he paints marine scenes and he belongs to a national uh, marine painters society and um, he was saying how much he enjoyed the show and that made me feel so good I hope to hear from more of you out there I truly do because it really made my day to turn on my computer open up my email and and here was a message from a gentleman in Maine that has seen my show and was enjoyed it. And he was so encouraging. He said, whatever you do, keep on painting. And if I could have been talking to him, I would have told him, yes, I will, definitely. Beyond a doubt, this is my love. This is my passion. Isn't it wonderful when you can find your passion in life and actually follow your passion? That's the most important thing in the world. It really is. Okay. And now I we'll have to make the ears look a little more. Come out. It's kind of hard to see here because Laddie is so, so dark. So I'll be putting on some highlights and, and, uh, but we kind of get the idea that um, it's a dog there. Uh, let me see here. She has that little bit of a white foot coming right here and a little bit of a white leg coming down right from here. And <laughs> it was cute. The the, uh, these gentlemen as they're sitting there and they're snacking, you know, in their chairs by their fire. Um, one of them uh, will give Laddie a snack and the other one will say, no, don't do that now. She's getting too, or he's getting too heavy. You know, don't give him any snacks. And the other one would say, okay. And then you'd look over a minute later and there he'd be popping another snack down for Laddie. It's kind of funny. There we go. Put a little foot down there. And maybe we'll put just a little bit of a nose on this. I don't want to, the, the, the painting is not really about the dog. And so I don't want to do too much um, on it. I just want to give us a nice idea of the fact that it is a dog there. I do want a little more light on the ears coming back. There we go. And then Laddie's tail is coming around and is coming over his 
shoe right there, kind of laying on the shoe. I think I'll take a little bit of light and put some light on that so we can see that. A little light here. And there we go. Maybe a little highlight on Laddie a little bit here. Coming down to sort of show the the form of the dog a little better. There we go. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I can't wait to get to the flowers in the window, too. And oh, and that thatched roof. We have to do that thatched roof for sure today. So if you just joined us, this is part two of our visit with the Conlon brothers, the gentlemen farmers. And um, they live in Athlone or outside of Athlone and they're, they're storytellers for the Catholic parish where they live. They, the, in Ireland, they have these gentlemen and they make, they make it their, their profession to actually, well, it isn't a profession really, it's just kind of like, um, well, like if you met uh, once or twice, so, well, maybe like if you had a, were on a bowling team, okay, and you'd meet all your friends and you'd bowl, okay. Well, in Ireland, they have these gentlemen that are really very gifted, and they go and they tell stories in the, uh, the bars and stuff like that, or the little um, pubs, and they tell stories about you know, just everyday life and what's happening, and they make them up as they go, and they're really quite entertaining, and um, that's what these gentlemen do. I never got to see them um, in action, but I know there was, I saw another gentleman one time, and he, while I was there, and he was just hysterical. He looked at me and just started making up this story about the way I looked, what I had on, and everything. It was kind of like a, um, an Irish version of our rappers, how they make things up as they go along and tell a story. There we go. All right, that looks like a dog. Okay, now let me see here. I know that we did have, um, you can't see it, but I remember it. There is a wire that's coming under here. And it's hooked up to this. This is their electricity box. So I'm just going to go ahead and put that in there. Um, just, just, you know, it isn't anything that I want to make really predominant. It's not that important. I want to add a little bit of brown to this piece of wood that's coming down here. And this is actually the box. I, uh, where the electricity is hooked up. It goes in the house. Okay, and I want to come under here and I want to darken this a little bit going across. This is so much fun. I'm glad I decided to do this. I'm glad I decided to spend another show with you to finish this painting and do it properly. Show these fellas. I don't know if you remember or not, but during our last visit, why I, I was telling you about this marvelous lunch they fixed and how I didn't know if I I felt kind of funny eating it because, you know, they don't have much. And it looked like they put out the best china and uh, some really good looking stuff there, you know, that had to be a little expensive for them. And I don't know, it just really made me feel special. Okay, so now um, let's get that door jam finished here. Let's get that blocked in. 
That's a little darker here. I'm seeing a little bit of that blue-green. It is darker than that. And I'm just working with a just you know the regular palette, same colors that I worked with last time. Um, they're just your basic palette. I have a few extras on there. This, uh, this color, this thalo red rose, I really like that a lot. It makes pretty flowers. So, all right, now we're going to come in under here and make that door jam. have to be careful there because he is standing in front of that and I want his hat to be coming over that. So I have to be a little careful there. There we go. Maybe I've made that a little too light. Let's see here. We need some of this in here. Lighten that up just a tad. That's the door jam here. And I think perhaps I have that a little too wide right here. I think this needs to come up. So I take my handy little wipeout tool there, wipe that off. And I'll come back in with a beautiful combination of Payne's Gray and Alizarin Crimson and make this darker up here. Bring that dark up. And that's going to that's gonna make that look a whole lot better. I'll fix his head a little bit and a little bit here. There we go. And then this is underneath, so we have to come and put a little, little shadow under there. There we go. There's a little shadow under there. There, that looks a little better. Mm-hmm. Okay, now I can fix his hat. Pat has got kind of a, a, a light highlight on the top of it. Um, yeah. Just going to soften that in. There we go. There, that brings it more to life. There. He's got his hat pulled way down over his eyes. There, okay. And then we have a little bit of, a, of um, Patty's hand. Uh, I think I called him Tommy before, but this is Tommy, and this is Patty. And there we go. So we're gonna, I'm mixing up a little bit of a flesh color for his hand. He has a very ruddy complexion. His hand is in his pocket here of his pants. And so I need to take a smaller brush and come in and put a um, little bit of a shadow on that hand where it's coming out of the jacket. There we go. And we need to put make kind of like the the pocket there where the hand is going into. There we go. Okay, whoops, drop that brush. 
I'll get this one. Now his pants, as you can see, are very worn, very shiny. Um, I think at one point they were probably black, but they're not black anymore. And we have a little bit of a, a shadow right underneath there. And there's a shadowed area right in here. There we go. Mm -hmm. And then this is a little bit lighter coming right up here. The, it seemed like <clears throat> from sitting, the knees of his pants were a little shiny. There we go, and we've got some little... They, they both, you know, really were... They were dressed in older clothes, but they... I think they were rather natty the way they were dressed. So they, they, that's an old expression, isn't it, natty? But you haven't heard that one in a long time. Anyway, I think they were dressed rather nicely. They, their clothes were old, but they were, they were like, it looked like they were their good clothes. There we go. Now I want to put some highlights on that green coat for Patty. I always wondered if the Patty, you know, because it's pronounced Patty, like it's P-A-T-D-D-Y. I always wondered if, if, if it's spelled that way or not. I should have asked. It just seems to me that, but maybe Maybe in Ireland they pronounce the the D's as or the T's as D's, whatever. I guess I'm sort of rambling, huh? Okay. There's a little collar there. And I don't have the right color for that coat. Let's see here. I made the mistake of cleaning up my palette before I left and I wiped everything down and that makes it very difficult to match. But I do want this to be a little a little brighter. He's got these lines coming in here. There we go. We want to we want to see There, I like that. And then there's all these wrinkles in the arm there. There, that's nicer. There you go, Patty. So as you notice, I talk to my paintings. And no, they don't answer me back, not verbally, but they certainly give me indication when I'm on the wrong track. I can tell you that much. So that's how they respond. Okay, I think that's looking pretty good. Uh, let's see here. He's got a little bit more dark underneath there. He's, both of these fellows had a little bit of a tummy on them. And there we go. I wish more than anything I could just get in touch with them and send them these paintings. I know that they would just get the biggest kick out of this to think that here somebody in America is painting them and they're on television in America. They were so so shy and sweet and withdrawn and until you got to know them. So 
would probably really be quite the thing for them to find out about this. And I think I want that to be a little bit lighter on his shoulder there. So I need a little few highlights here and there to kind of perk it up just a little bit. There we go. And then this is coming down a little bit lighter. And this is a little lighter in here. Okay, and I think I'd like to try to brighten up the faces a little bit. I think I have them. I know they had ruddy complexions, but I don't think they were quite this... Quite this dark. So I'll just light, lighten that up just a wee bit. He had the sweetest smile. Uh, he was blind. Tommy is blind in one eye here. So I think he had a glass eye put in. And so that's why I'm showing him with the, with the one eye as being a little larger than the other one. There we go. That's better. And now we come over here and we'll make Patty look a little nicer. And let's see here. A little light in here, a little light in here. Not much though. He's really quite He's really quite uh, a bit darker complected than his brother. We have to soften that so that he had a rather bulbous, bulbous nose. And this is a little lighter right up in here. And then the ear. Um, and that is a little darker right up in there. And his cheeks were quite um, dark looking right in here. And right on this side here. Okay, I think that, yeah, that looks a little better. Maybe I'll take a little tiny brush and try to make the eye come out just a little bit here. Um, let me see, what did I do with my little tiny brush? Tiny, tiny brush, let me see. And I just got... Can you believe it? I just was given the message by the cameraman that we're already halfway through the show. I can't believe it. Where does the time go when we're together? There we go. I think that helps. Now I'll go back and lighten that up a little bit right under there and clean that up just a little bit. There we go. Oh, yeah, that's much better. Yeah, good. Okay, so now then, we're pretty much... Um, um, I think what I'm going to do next is I'm really... I've just been dying to get to this... To this... Uh, let me take my knife. I don't want to mix with my brush. I'm just dying to get to those flower pots. Let's see, and they... Well, there was a... A nice, um, like a um, clay, a clay pot. So there was a nice clay pot there. 
And then there was a couple of, of um, darker colored pots sitting there. So we'll put the clay pot in and let's see here. All right, and I'm looking back because I'm trying to see uh, by my other painting that I did what was actually there in the window is why I keep turning away from you there. Okay. And then the other pots, I believe, were kind of a grayed blue. Yeah, kind of a real dark, almost a gray color. And so there was a larger one here. and a little one right here. And boy, did they have the flowers in those. Those were just, the flowers that they had in those pots were so pretty. They had the little lace curtain. And I think from the other picture that I was showing you, it, it uh, when, they, when they were serving uh, when Tommy was serving us lunch, I, sh I think that showed the, the, um, the lace curtain there in the window, if you remember from the last segment. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now we'll just put a little bit of a highlight on the pot. A little bit more on this one. Now, we're going to take my, one of my favorite colors here, alizarin crimson, and we're going to put in some flowers, massing them in in dark. And then we're gonna put some lighter, over it. Okay. Maybe we'll have, um, oh, it looked like that was purple petunias there. Just okay, I'm going to try to stay as true as possible to what was really there. Purple petunias. Yes, we like petunias. Here we go. We're going to put in some dark for the petunias. in the pot. Maybe that was growing up a little bit. You know what? The lovely thing about painting is that you can make your flowers grow any way you want. And then the other one looked like it was maybe pink pansies. So we'll make some pink. Mm -hmm. All righty. A little bit pinker. There. And this has some little tiny pink flowers in it. Okay, now I'm going to come back to the purple and I'm going to add a little light to it. And I'm going to bring these little purple flowers more to life. Oh, there we go. Yeah. There, see? Okay, now we'll take a different brush and we'll put the greens in. The greenery, I should say. Boy, you talk about green. I haven't, I, knew, I didn't know what the color green was until I went to Ireland and traveled over there. Oh, it's just so beautiful. It's just marvelous. I mean, it just, you just, you drive along and it's like a feast for the eyes. 
course, I didn't go to too many big cities. Like, I didn't, I didn't bother with Dublin. I wasn't really interested in, in the larger cities. I wanted to get out into the rural area and see what do the people that live in the rural areas, what is their life like? What are they, what are they doing? And friendly, warm, flirtatious, very flirtatious, of which I enjoyed. It's kind of nice to be flirted with. And so we'll put just a little bit more green in here. There we go. Now we've got some flowers. Um, and a little green there. There we go. See, nothing is too, nothing is too um, worked too hard on. It's it's important to kind of keep it, keep it more impressionistic. Keep it more um, like it, it's just you're just catching a moment in time. It's all impromptu. You know, you're not laboring. If you have to labor, it's not any fun. It's more fun to just, you know, let it flow. Go with the flow. That's a good way to say it. I do want to put a little bit of dark on this pot over here on this side and a little on that side and maybe a little tiny bit of orange in the center there to kind of bring it more to life. There we go. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, see how that brings that right out? There. Now I'm really loving this with the flowers. The flowers in the window just say everything. But you know what? I can't leave that window without putting in a hint, just a hint, of that lace curtain. So I'm going to take my brush I'm going to wipe it down, and I'm going to use what they call a dry brush um, technique. And this is where I will come in with a dry brush. Is this dry? Not quite. And that's good. Okay. And I'm just going to barely touch this and see if I can get the effect of lace of a lace curtain in the window. Okay, a little more. A little more on this side. Okay, and then I'm going to take just a little more paint and I'm going to make kind of like a little scalloped edge there and a little scalloped edge there. There we go. Now we have our lace curtains. See? That's the way to do it. I like it. Yeah. Maybe I don't like that quite so curved. I'll straighten that up just a little bit. Maybe I'll add a little more lace. You know what the heck. It's different kinds of lace. Some are heavier than others. There we go. Now we have the feeling that there's a lace curtain in the window. Beautiful flowers on the windowsill. The fellows look just great. They do need to have their lips um, a little more defined. And I have to be careful there because um, I, I don't want to make them look like they're wearing makeup. But I do want to make them look like they're smiling. Come on. Tommy and Patty, give me a smile. Give me a smile, Tommy and Patty. There we go. Just a little smile. Tommy's got one. Here we go. Little corner on the side there. Yeah, they're smiling now. They're very, very happy. They say, whoa, girl, you're going to town here on us. All right, now let's finish putting the siding or the that stucco-like stuff that's all over the building. Um, I had started doing that in my home studio, and I really, I was using a knife, and I really love that effect. 
I thought that worked so well, just kind of mixing up the paint and then moving it around, and, and it just gives it such a nice, um, let's see here, we need a skinny knife's worth, and we're going to put that right above here. Okay, and then this now this here is going to be coming kind of kind of down behind him here, and can you hear that that um, kind of sound like putty, like I'm puttying. <laughs> That's what it's like. And then the paint is just sticky enough that it's just creating that little bit of movement on the canvas. It's fun. There. Oh, okay. And we'll go into here. And, and then down in here. And under here. All right, let's see here. Okay, now that's, I think, I think that's looking pretty good. Um, I've got to get to this bottom part right in there. Um, whoops, I went over Tommy's pants a little. Sorry, Tommy. I want that really to look like real thick stucco there so you realize how, how thick that stuff was there. There we go. Now then, um, I, gotta, I have to take that off of Tommy's pants where we kind of went over. Okay, I'll have to put the pants back on him. <laughs> Whoops, took his pants off. Now I have to take a, put them back on. Um, Alrighty, there we go, there we go, Tommy, we'll give you your pants back, there, good enough, okay, um, now, this down here, this definitely needs, it needs a dark, kind of a, of a little bit of a shadow, underneath it. Okay, and then it's that kind of blue, blue-gray, and it's, that's too, here we go, kind of like that. Mm-hmm. And then we have a right in here. And right back there, in between there, in between his, that, that's where the, we're coming out of the house there, out of the doorway. So that would be a little bit darker, but I do want to lighten it up a smidgen because light would be uh, coming through there. Let me see here. Okay, and I want to make this darker here so that Lottie's tail shows up better. So I'm going to make his pants right there a little bit darker so that Lottie's tail, you can see Lottie's tail coming out 
Okay. Take that up just a little bit there. There we go. And then, um, okay. All right, let me see. Hmm. I want this to be a little darker under here. You know, you just, you, you, you step back and you look at it and you let the painting tell you what does it need. It's, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the way things are going here. I don't see too much that I want to change. I want to get to that, to that um, thatched roof now. Let's get that thatch on there. And we're gonna have to move fast now, all right, because we're coming to the end of our time together. So, have to get concentrate and really get busy here. That thatch was kind of a yellow, kind of a yellowish, orangish sort of stuff. And there was plenty of it. And so I think, oh, I think that's too light, too orange. Maybe we need a little more of this in it. this along here for that edge. All right. So you can see that it's sticking out there. And there's darks and lights and all kinds of, of things in there. Let me go a little bit lighter here as we're going on across. All right. Now we're working hard because we want to finish. And okay. Here we go. I love the way that looks, like it's just sticking out. You know, I, I would venture to say that there's probably, I don't know how many pounds of straw on their roof because every time it kind of like disintegrates, they just go up and put another layer on. I mean, it's, it, it, it's fascinating to think about how simple life can be. We have to have a new furnace. They just put another layer of straw on their roof. And that, you know, and when you think about it, it's just, I don't know, who's got it best? Okay, I think I'm happy with that. Yeah, I think I am getting happy with that. All righty, maybe just a little bit of lighter in here in some places. Oh, maybe not. I don't think I like that. See, you don't know unless you try it. And I see so many artists that, that are afraid to let it fly. You know, what's the worst thing that's going to happen? So you wipe it out or you change it. You know, you certainly, if you don't like the way it looks, you certainly don't want to leave it that way. Oh, I think that looks good. I just think we need a little more gold over in here. That got just a little too gray. I want to carry that gold. We'll, we'll pretend that they just put new straw on this roof. There we go. Yep. Okay, now... We have the, um, this, this sidewalk that they're standing on. And I want to warm that up also. Um, but not 
I don't want to make it too warm or too light. So I'm trying to make a nice warm gray. And if I take my red, Cad Red Light, and I put it in my Payne's Gray, and then add some white to that, what do I get? I get kind of a pink, and I'm not happy with that. That's kind of an icky color. So let's just take some of the roof, and we'll duplicate the roof color in the foreground. I think that'll be better, and I really should have a bigger brush. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then we probably are going to have to have a, a cast shadow here. Um, actually, we don't really have any shadows because the light seems to be coming right at, from, from up, up high and right on them. So we really don't, the shadow would be behind them. So I'm not going to worry about a cast shadow. I just, I want to make sure that they look, um, uh, that's going to be too yellow. I don't want to use that. That's a little too warm. But I think maybe in here, I'll just add just a little bit. And I'll probably sign it. There, yeah, okay. I'll probably sign it over in here. And I see one mistake on Tommy's ear right here. So I'm gonna have to pull that off right there. Whoops, went in my hair. That's okay too. Good place for it rather than the floor. Okay, and we're going to take the knife and come back in here and put this back on in there. And I wonder if we don't want to just take a little bit of that light color and just a little tad of it come over a little bit there and perhaps a little light on his coat there to kind of make him not look so, I don't want them to look like they're cut out and pasted on. I want them to look like they belong in the scene here in their, in their background. So I'm kind of softening them in a little bit. And um, I, let me see here. What else could we do to make this better? Well, not a whole lot, really. You know, there has to come a time when you say to yourself, I think this is pretty much done. So I, I think there's a couple small corrections I can make by coming in here and making his sleeve a little more pronounced right in there and right in here make this a little more pronounced there we go okay in the same way over here okay um his shoe, there should be a shadow, a cast shadow underneath here. And 
right in here. Maybe there would be a little bit of a cast shadow going up. No, I don't think so. See, see now I'm making things up, and that's not good. That's a, that's, that's a no-no. We're taking that out of there. All right, there we go. Probably what we could do here is one last little dark place um, right in here, along in here, to kind of make that sit down. Just a little bit there. Kind of make that sit down a little bit. I don't want it to be too. All righty. There we go. All right, and now I'm going to sign it. If I have a small enough brush. Um, and I think I will sign it in a darker red over here. I, no, I should really sign it in green, I think, yeah. You, wanna, you want to, uh, you know, repeat color, and I have his green coat in here, so if I sign right in here, Okay, there they are, my gentlemen farmers, Tommy and Patty Conlon with their dog, Laddie. It has been such a pleasure to be with you. Uh, once again, this is Kitty Lynn Klish with Painting Journeys, and please do not miss our next episode because you know what? I think we'll come back to the United States, perhaps the Southwest. How does that sound? See you next time. Bye-bye for now. Thank you.